Welcome to episode three of the No Bluffing Podcast. I'm Drizzy. I'm in the building with my brother JJ. Each and every Monday, Tuesday, we shooting scrap. We don't miss a we don't miss a week. Nah, we'll miss work. We'll miss work. We got a special guest in the building. Los Angeles Rams wide receiver 22 Atwell. What it do, man? Nice to meet y'all, man. What's up, bro? What's going on? Nigga, Good I know you, you already. I'm talking about him, man. I'm talking about him, man. I ain't talking about you. I know you already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you pulling up, bro. Appreciate you pulling up. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. How y'all doing? Good, good, bro. We good, bro. From Miami, Florida. Miami. Not Florida, Miami. But, uh, so, see, so, oh, difference. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because it's, it's the same difference. way for us. Like, I'm from Maryland. They be like, oh, Baltimore. I be like, hell nah. Not ain't no Baltimore. See, you, see when, you see when people say Florida? I ain't from Florida. I'm from Miami. Because okay. they could say it's Broward, <laughs> o- o- Orlando, Liberty, Liberty, Tampa. Liberty City. Liberty. Oh, you from Chad? Hood Chad? That's why you was talking crazy to Chad Liberty on the City. sideline. I Liberty saw that. City. Liberty City. Uh, how was it growing up in Miami? Just just the whole... I mean, it was, it, it was uh, kind of rough, you know? Um, yeah. A lot of ups and downs. Um, it was hard coming out, but um, shit, I found a way. Yeah. Um, shit, mama raised three uh, three boys. Yeah. Uh, had my dad in my life, stepdad in my life, good. grandmas. Okay. But I mean, you know, yeah. so it's a it's a normal life. Yeah, I think I think when people hear Miami, they just think South Beach, but right. it's a, it's another side to Miami. Yeah. You know, what real I'm saying? real people yeah. live in Florida, like in Miami. You know what I'm saying? It ain't yeah. just the they, beach. When people say they've been to Miami. They say they they South Beach. Yeah, right. they ain't cross the bridge. <laughs> yeah, they ain't cross the bridge. <laughs> but nah, yeah, it's, it's cool though. That's cool, man. So you went to you went to uh, Northwestern High School. Yeah, Northwestern. Yeah, how, the how best high school in Dade. So don't let nobody else tell you otherwise. I be hearing it. I be hearing, you know what I'm saying? I've definitely heard of Northwest. Like yeah. the schools that is, you know, that produce, that put out people, you hear of them. I'm, I ain't never been to Florida since, until I got older. Right. But yeah. I always heard of Northwestern because I went to a Northwestern. But we in Maryland, PG County, Maryland. But Don't let everybody Air- else tell you otherwise. <laughs> that, they, that, might, that, they might scream Central and Care City and Booger T. Not where I was at. Not where you nah. was there. Quarterback, so, man, nah. So how how was the competition in in uh, Florida in Miami and Florida? Because I always hear no, there's no high school football like high school football in Florida. The oh, South know. got it on lock. Florida got it on lock. You know we play the ball down there, man. Uh, it's a lot of competition, man. You had different different players at different schools, so it made it really, you know, funner and to play against each other. So you had me at Miami Northwestern. You had James Cook at Miami Central. Dog. Who you? Who else you had? You had a lot of. You had Taquan Thornton, uh, yeah. that played for the Patriots. Yeah. He was at Booger T. So you had all of it spread around, and you had a lot of different players. So it was yeah. like, dang, who gonna win out of these? You know. Mm-hmm. So it made it even funner. Crowd, big crowd, like an yeah. NFL crowd. I'm sure a lot of y'all, y'all grew up playing against each other and stuff like, too. Huh? Like Pop yeah. Warner, Pop Warner, boys yeah, club. From, from Pop Warner all the way to high school. So, yeah. damn, you played quarterback? Yeah, I was a quarterback. Well. Why? What made you switch to wide receiver? Yeah, you know, I wanted to make it to the league. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But nah, man, I had long talks with my dad. Just you know, growing up, you know, start from little league. You know, I was a quarterback. I never played no other position. So start from little league yeah. all the way to high school, and you know, I was I always played quarterback, and I never like I would never play defense. Right. They never let me play receiver, even though I wanted to play. It, nobody wanted to come back me up because I was like, you wanna know, I was like. The greatest quarterback down there, so nobody wanted to back me up. So I had to play. He was on some Michael Vick shit. Huh? I, I yeah. had to play quarterback, so like so, I couldn't play no other position. So when you start playing receiver, because you good at receiver, like yeah. so I start. Look, this is gonna be funny, right? So I started playing receiver. So um, do, going through the recruiting process, I had like different offers from being an athlete. Someone's at receiver. Someone's at quarterback. Who so offered you at quarterback? I had FIU, FAU, uh, Illinois. Okay. Um, and some other little small schools. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so my dad, my dad played receiver for Minnesota. Yeah, I got. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dad was a dog too. Yeah. So he was like, man, if you want to make it to the league, but you got to, you know, you got to switch over because you know you too little. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, but shit, I don't know how to play. I don't, I'm a quarterback. Right, right. right. My mind says I'm a quarterback. You know. So we have long talks. Talked over with my mom. You know, you know, my mom gonna support whatever I do anyway. So, um. I got some receivers from some some receivers offers from F, uh, UCF and all the other schools and Louisville came mm. last. Okay. Louisville came last. Uh, coach, shout out to Coach Fields. Coach Fields came. Coach seen, Fields, you knew what you was doing. Coach Fields seen something <laughs> in me, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Come play receiver, like be an athlete." Okay. So you know, and then come the signing day for um, 
high school, mm-hmm. like I didn't know the night before Sunday, I didn't know where I wanted to go. It was out of UCF. I, night before. It was out of UCF or Louisville. And I had Bobby Trina on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and I had uh I forgot who was a coach at the UCF. And it's like, I'm in the room looking at my mom, I'm like, which one to pick? Yeah. <laughs> she like, man, I'm I'm hundred percent I'm hundred percent behind you. So she didn't want you to stay closer to home. That's all I'm about to say. Like, but you know what's funny, man? None of the, I never had an offer from UM, Florida. Right, right. Damn. US well, I had USF, but UM in Florida, they never offered no me. No Florida State. No Florida State. Mm. Damn. But guess what? I made them pay when we played them. Oh, yeah. Punish they had. Punish them. <laughs> <laughs> but when, uh, so Sunday I came and I flipped to Louisville. Yeah. I wasn't going to UCF and I took two I took two visits at the same day. So I flew to Louisville, mm-hmm. came back to Miami, and flew to Miami to Orlando. Okay. And she Louisville, it felt like home. Sure and they was, was like, love. yeah, yeah, it was, it was. They made it feel like home. Um, I had probably like four of my homeboys. We all went there too. And then oh, you had and homies. Plus, I uh, enrolled it early. Mm. Okay. So it was better for me. So I graduated uh, high school early. Okay. So it was, it was, it was. You know, I was ahead. Yeah. But um I got there um in uh what what I say January yeah of my senior season uh my senior uh, year of high school so you was able to like work on the receiver shit and like get your shit together bro I was shitty dog for real <laughs> what yeah but I ain't had no stands no nah, it takes some time it takes dog. some time because he, he, he converted the safety from long snap like we was, <laughs> no no that's my boy though but like we wanted him to go to the league so it was like Bro, you ain't go like, bro. You can't. You got to do more than be a long snapper, bro. Like, yeah, I wish I would have played long snapper. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I played for twenty years. <laughs> but look, that's the thing though, because when I first got there, you know, you you do mat drills and stuff. Oh yeah. So my receiver stands, they stank, mm-hmm. ugly. Yeah. People looking like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, but I'm running past everybody. I'm mm-hmm. fast. I'm the fast on the team. Running past everybody, but I had no routes. I'm staying shitty, and I would just just. And I'm bombing everybody mm-hmm. and just mm-hmm. getting open. You had hands at least? I had hands. Well, all oh, the quarterbacks. Can catch. Bro, all quarterbacks can catch. Like, I'm like, a quarterback. Yeah. Like, so, great hands, bro. It's yeah. crazy. So, look, so I had, um, so I got there. Um, we got, um, the season started. I was starting as a freshman. I earned my spot. Damn. Uh, and then what I had, what I finished with, I finished, I finished out the year with 24 catches for what, 408 yards? And two touchdowns? So you was catching straight. all bombs. No, nah, that's straight. Yeah, yeah he touchdowns. was catching all bombs. Yeah, yeah, so, so 20 so, catches, 400 yards. Every catch so, yeah. was like 20 something, 30 yards. So, like. so, the, so the next pre- so the, so the next year, I'm like, like damn, like, okay. I got it out the way he went. Mm-hmm. I say, maybe some goals. My dad was like, he was on me by some goals. He always on me. He's still on me to this that's day solid. by goals. That's solid. Mm-hmm. He said, uh, like, you know, so I gave him my goals. So my goal was be all American. That was my freshman year, sophomore year, coming to sophomore year, mm. it was to be the All American, ACC, to lead the ACC, to have a thousand yards, and my goal was for like, I had what two touchdowns my freshman year, like four four touchdowns. Okay. And coming to that year, I was, you know, they was on me about my weight. Mm-hmm. I came in that bit about, I can't lie, I came in that bit about one forty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't well what no 130, 130 something. But if you moving Damn. like hey I came in college at 130. Light. I was on weight I was on weight game my whole college life. I was on weight game. I swear. What'd you get up to? So sophomore year I came in, you know, I made goals. I know I wanted I wanted to my my thing, my mind you, I um graduated high school early. So you know my plan was to, you know, see I'm leaving in three years. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So I made goals. I had my goals ready. Boom. Season start. Um, Coach Mike, we had a shout out to Coach Mike. He get, uh, We had Bob Petrino at that time. They got fired. Coach Mike and Coach Satin came in. They put they put their feet down on mm-hmm. their foot down on us, boy. They got me to 162. Damn. I ain't never weighed that much it. ever in my life. 162. You probably don't even weigh that now. I don't. <laughs> See, but that's what they, in college, bro, like. And they were force feeding me to everything. And like, I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was big and I was still moving at the time. College, they make y'all lift more, right? Make you lift more. I was stronger in college. Yeah, I was like, stronger, bigger, yeah. Well, not, maybe not bigger, but yeah, like, now I can't, I go in the weight room like, hey, hold on right. now. Like, <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't coming for this. I came here to play, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like, but yeah, in college, you can't really say that, but yeah. But this is why um, 
I want to thank Scully Mike, them, and the whole staff. Because when I came in, my mentality, not to say mentality, but my mentality was, you know, man, shit, y'all can't tell me what to do. Yeah. You feel mm-hmm. me? Yeah. I'm from Miami, yeah. man. I ain't saying y'all come in and tell me what to do. Because mm-hmm. the, the other sprint coach, like Barbara Trino, them, they sprint coach, we, had, we was a shitty team. And that's mm-hmm. why we went 2-10. and 10. Damn. So we was shitty. Like, we wasn't listening to nobody. Mm-hmm. You feel me? We wasn't listening to nobody. We wasn't listening to the sprint coaches. Like, they tell us to get in the cold tub, hot tub. Man, we ain't doing that, man. Nah. Like, we was bad. Coach Sack and Coach Mike them came in and put their feet down, their foot down, and like, y'all going to do this. Like, right. Or this, or y'all going to go. Like, my class, we had, like, 20. My freshman year, we had, like, 20 recruits come in. When Coach Mike them came in and Sack them came in, it was we was left with, like, Four or five of us. They jumped ship. They jumped ship. What made, what made you stay? Because the coach that recruited you to come left. So a lot believe, of times a player. I don't believe be in like, that uh, that portal thing, man. Mm. And I just buy it in. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Where else, where else I'm going to go? Yeah. But yeah. I bought in and uh, shit. I could shit. I'm here now. Yeah. Yep. Your sophomore year, I, your sophomore year, you went crazy. You had 70 catches, like 1,200 some yards. Damn. Yeah. Well, he so, got there. You went dumb. Yeah. So um, they came with a whole new offense. You know, I learned that quick. Um, they put weight on me, got the 162. Um, like you said, I was a star receiver on the team, you know. Had, but Maya had my goals. Remember, I had my goals, so I was looking at my goals every day. Yeah. So I finished out the year with uh, 70 catches. With 60, I think it was 69. 69 catches for 1276 mm. and 12 touchdowns. Mm. I led the ACC that year in receiving yards, <laughs> touchdowns. Um, I broke the school record. I broke Harry uh, Harry Douglas record, and a single single uh, record, in uh, one season. Uh, what else? I had seven. <laughs> he was going crazy. I had, <laughs> he was going stupid. I had seven hundred yard games back to back. Man, who Dang. was man? Who was covering you? Who was covering man? Man, I was unstoppable. I was du- on, I, I was one sixty. I was double him. Big. I was, cr- I was going double crazy. him. Double him. So when you when you got drafted, it was just probably all like a size thing. So. The funny, I'm gonna tell y'all a funny story. Nobody, the men hey, no, lie, women lie. Bro, I'm gonna tell y'all this, them this numbers story. Ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna tell y'all this story, but it's so funny. So I want to know about your draft story. I'm, I'm, that's sure. what yeah. I'm saying. So I'm gonna yeah, tell you yeah, the funny yeah. story. So, so um, I went dumb, all American. Remember my goals? What my goals was? Touchdowns. I had four touchdowns. Lead ACC, I had. I, I finished with twelve. On my thing, I had a thousand yards. Mm-hmm. I finished with twelve seventy six. Mm-hmm. All American. Check. What well, all uh, ACC. Check. <laughs> I checked the box on all of them. Yeah. yeah. So, so bro, I'm like, shit, I'm great now. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm yeah. going first round. 100%. Yeah. You feel 100%. me? So, you know, I'm, now I'm all over the ACC and all over the ESPN. And, you know, I'm projected to go first round. Mm-hmm. 2020 season. Got when COVID happened. Yeah. That was COVID. Just a terrible I saw COVID time. messed everything up. Yeah. <laughs> did you, did you sit, because they said you set out for um, but the injury thing, reasons that wasn't disclosed. That wasn't my plan. See, all that sitting out, man, I was coming to play, bro. I knew I wanted to leave and finish three years. I was trying to get up out of there. Plus, mm-hmm. I'm already here to school. Like, my thing, yeah. my mom, my mom, main thing was to get that work done. You get what I'm saying? She don't care what else. Like, as yeah. long as you feel me, you're going to finish in three years. Right. You get what I'm saying? So, school wasn't no problem. Mm-hmm. I already know I was for the class. So, um, that's why I think Coach that. So, we playing through the year 2020 season. You know, ain't no fans in the stand. So, I'm doing my thing, trying to keep my... Projection high, whatever. Yeah, yeah. We played Pittsburgh. I don't know what week this was. I forgot. Um, so I'm going crazy. You know they were doing what doing my thing, whatever. Uh, I did a um. We on like on a what twelve yard line. Uh, Malik Cunningham threw me a pass. I caught it, but my momentum taking me to the stands. Mm. So my mom, as my momentum taking me to the stands, like I can't stop. So you know. It wasn't no fans, so like there was empty seats, and they had like a little, little, a little pad over the the uh, seats. Mm-hmm. So if I would have, if I would never would have jumped over the thing, I would have ran into the wall. Right. So instead of me running to the wall, I jumped over and landed in the stands, and I fucked my back up. Mm. And I. So this this is year three. Yeah, this is year, year three. three. So it's your last year to you. To this you, is my last year, year to me. Because you was you already had that plan. Like <laughs> that's, the, that's the already plan. Boom, 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 and I'm gone. Yeah. yeah. So boom, I uh, did that. So I'm in practice, and this is why I, I respect Coach Sat, I respect Coach Mike. I, I, like I thank all of them, because I was in, I came in practice, 
and they already know what the plan. They already know, like, yeah. damn, Tutu went crazy. Tutu for the come out, you know. So I went there. Um, we had practice the next day. I felt, I felt like something was wrong. Like, I felt like a sharp pain in my back. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, like my back messed up. Like, woo woo. When they go get X-ray, they're like, yeah, you got like a little small little fracture. Mm -hmm. I'll show y'all when I'm when I finish. I, I got a little small little crack in my L5, like in my spinal thing. So I'm like, damn. Like what to do now? Right. So I'm now I'm on the phone. My mom, my dad, trying to figure out like what's going on. And Coach Sack came to me. He was like, "All right, listen. We probably got like four, five games left." He said, "No, no, no." After that, we did that. I said, "You know what? I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play." I played. We played against Virginia Tech, and I went to do a following up on the same thing, an MRI, mm -hmm. and they <clears> said <throat> it's getting worse. Oh shoot! Damn. So, so picture that it's getting worse. So keep that in mind, it's getting worse. So before that, Sat said, you know what I'm going to do? We had four or five games left. He said, um, he said, you're not going to practice. So my, all these weeks, I'm not practicing. Mm -hmm. He said, we're just going to put you in, shit, to score a touchdown yeah. and get your 100 yards, and you're, you're gonna be, your, your, your play is going to be limited. So I'm like, shit, all right. So, so it was kind of tough for the receivers. So the receiver yeah. coach told him straight up, he was like, Hey, listen, Tutu not gonna be playing. He not gonna be practicing. He just getting in when we when we want to score a touchdown or we gonna get his yards. <laughs> he say this. He said like he said just like this. He earned it, and that's what it is. That's solid. You feel me? Was and there I, any like resentment from like teammates on that? It was, but them all my homeboys. They was okay. like, man, ain't nothing wrong. It's like, you know, he probably fucking <laughs> yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, I earned it. You feel me? I did what I had to do, and they took care of me. And then, kind of found out, man, that shit got worse. It got worse as I was playing, it, even though I was resting, but it got worse. And I'm like, man, I, I went to Coach Sat. I'm like, I'm going to just declare. Mm -hmm. And we had like probably like two more games left. I talked to my mom. She was talking to my dad. They were like, they're 100% behind me. I ain't like, it was the hardest decision, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So I did that. So after I declared, I flew straight to Miami. And I got to work. I got to work. Mm -hmm. And I ain't try, And I, I didn't... Um, I didn't even work out. Like, you know how you train for the uh, combine? Yeah. Like, get I was doing straight drugs. PT. Right. And it was like, damn, like, you know, everybody want to see me run a 40. I'm yeah, fast. Yeah. Everybody, you know, I ran a, my fast time, my fastest um, 40 time was a 427. Ah! <laughs> 427, right? So I was a little bit, I did 429. Nah, 427. So. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody wanted to see Tutu running on ESPN. Yeah, all, all I wanted to all, see. Everybody wanted to see. I be watching running. that forty. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Let me see go, so fast. Like, I'm like, damn, like my back fucked up. Mm. I'm not training. I can't run the four. I can't even time. I can't wow. test myself. So I'm doing straight T PT. I'm hitting the PT off training Pensacola at Esso's. Okay, I'm training. I went down there. I'm training. I'm just training. You was down there with Russ, huh? What Russ? That's the speed coach. But you, but you was doing PT it's though. So. Like, yeah, I was doing PT. Yeah. So I'm just doing, I'm going, I'm working hard, boom. So I test one time, the 40, and I swear to God, bro, I want to cry, bro. I never ran a 4.5 a day in my life. And when I test, I ran a 4.5, I clocked a 4.5. And but I sat there and cried, bro. I'm and like, I, what the humble you? I'm like, bro, yeah. bro, I sat there and cried because I'm like, bro, like, not my shit for the drop from first round. All the way to first round, second round, all the way to like undrafted. Right. Cause right. everybody wanna see two two run. Yeah. I'm already light. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, right. yeah. Speed so, is your that's your I'm saying I call my dad, I call my dad, call my mom, like, like, bro, like I'm running slow. Like mm. I'm slow. Like, I'm not gonna run fast. So my dad, like, just keep running, keep just keep pushing. Like, you know, my mom, you know, she's saying motivation stuff. Right. Dad calling me every day. Come on, let's, let's get to it. Let's get mm -hmm. to it. So I, I got to it. I put my mind to it. Um we test again. We test again. I clocked the four three three. I'm getting my shit I back. Say, I said, let me do it. I said, let me do it one more time. <laughs> I clocked the four three three. Try and see something. Yeah. I said, I, said, I said, okay, let me clock it again. I ran again, took a deep breath. I clocked the four three zero. I said, we back, motherfucker. <laughs> I said, we back, motherfucker. We back. This we shit. back. <laughs> and it just went from there, bro. So, yeah. I was like, fuck it. So you didn't do the actual combine shit? None of us. My my class, my year. Oh, yeah. oh it, was we COVID. COVID. it was COVID. Dang. So we had to, everybody had to do this at Pro Day. Yeah. Yeah, damn. And it was like, but at the Pro Day, I ran a 4-3-2. 
and did um some couple receiver drills and ain't dropped no balls. Mm. And, you know, uh, yeah, I, I know feel like one. if I ain't had that um that injury, I would have went late first round. Yeah, so so, so. yeah, you you dropped to the second round. Mm-hmm. Rams picked you up in the in the second round. Um, did you know they was gonna pick you? Because I be hearing stories like I was told if I'm there at. 30, there's re- no way I'm getting bottom. And then- See, I didn't know because, you know, the first day, <clears throat> I, I still had to sit in front of the, the camera and everything on the first day because, you know, I was projected to go first round, Yeah, you know. But I knew if I wasn't going to go first round, I was getting off the board on second. Mm-hmm. Second mm-hmm. day, I was for sure. That's when I had my draft party the second day. Okay. Um, so the first day, it was just family and the, the cameras and everything. Mm-hmm. Second day, if I if I didn't get uh, drafted the first day, second day, that's when I had my party with everybody and whole. Yeah, right. You feel me? Because the second day is second and third. Second and third. You weren't going past. I wasn't going yeah, past. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's what happened to me. See, I ain't even had no party because I ain't know where. I went to Boston College like, I ain't run no 4-2. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so I ain't know where. I, was, I ain't even throw no party, but I kind of had a feeling I was going day two. I went third round, so I was like, I was I was happy, but yeah, I didn't know if I was going day two or day three. Yeah, I knew mm-hmm. I wasn't going first round, but I I didn't know I was going day two or day three. You didn't so get didn't no draft no day promises. No, bro, like that. Damn. I I like you said. You asked, did you know it was the Rams? I had no idea the Rams. I mean, I had a I had no interviews. I think I met with uh, the safety coach. Okay, he, Coach E. Shout out to Coach E. He down in Carolina. They ain't doing so well, but I know he uh, got them boys <laughs> right. Yeah. Yes, I met with him. I had a good interview, but I ain't had no idea. Maybe first rounders got a kind of idea, but yeah, I had I had I had projections, um, talk to coaches and everything. Dog, that draft process is so crazy. It's crazy, dog. Like you get on the phone with these coaches and they just ask you everything. So they wanna imagine know, and the, they want to know every single thing at the combine. They all in one hotel. You got to go from room to room to room and like do it in person. So it's probably, it's probably better. And the medical is mean. I went see. We had to go to the medical. Ooh. What, what's the medical like? Explain that for you. Gotta, the, for you the, there for four the, days. You don't run to the fourth day. So the first three days is just like they picking at you, bro. Every single thing. See, look, ours was different because, like, you know, we had COVID. That was the COVID year. We had um, so it wasn't. But the injured players, we had to go to Indianapolis, and we had to stay in there for like four days. Man, that was so long, dog. Blood Man. test. You don't want to do all tests, that. We got to do everything. Hey, what's the MRI? What's the, they, they, they what's the every mental injury? test thing they be having y'all do? Anyway? Well, you do the wonder lick, but they got all types <laughs> of little mental <laughs> tests. But they ask you questions that got nothing to do with football. Bro, they ask you all types of shit. Nothing, nothing to do with <laughs> it's nothing. Talking, it's something about the, some math questions, all types of shit. I ain't going to Like, lie. if you're not like, getting a full point, bro, I ain't going to lie. The bro, average person couldn't do this stuff. I ain't going to lie. People be putting anything on that motherfucker. Anything. For real? What? Yeah, man. Right. Y'all go football, man. I'm <laughs> right. go. You feel me? Yeah. They say yeah. it. They say it. <laughs> and add up, though. Like, quarterbacks who it get do. a high test usually produce better. They say it, it got I some type know. of... Uh, but you know, but look. But look, like a DB put, or like a... Fam, come on, I put, I put anything on that. I ain't gonna lie. I put anything on that. And a coach... One of the coaches questions, like... You all right? And, you all right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and, and, and one of my coaches like, like, nah, man, like, just like, Tutu, you put anything on that test, huh? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hell yeah, how you know? He's like, man, because such and such, feel me? I'm like, oh, it worked out. Shit. But hey, so so your first your first year with the Rams, you kind of dealt with some injuries. Yeah, so first year, um, got drafted 2021, you know, um, got to start in punt return position, you know, I, um, I did good for uh, punt returner. Yeah, you know, um, I had what we made. I went made it to week eight. We played against Houston Texans, mm-hmm. and you know it was funny, right? The the outfit that I I wore, it was like a uh, it was a Y three jacket, with some jeans and some Y three mm-hmm. shoes. I said, I would never wear that shit again. Bro, your rookie year, right? <laughs> Fuck me. I don't. Bro, I was Damn. wearing some wild. No, stuff no, 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 no. The reason why I know it's the reason why I won't <laughs> wear that no more. Why? I got hurt that day. Oh yeah. I threw that bitch in the garbage. So now you look Y3 dead to you. Huh? Dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> I would never put them shoes. I see them shoes in my closet. I don't wear I don't want to touch them. Yeah, but um, yeah, I got hurt on the punt return. Mm. Uh, we um, They punted us. And I remember like yesterday, they punted to us. I got one I can. I got tackled. I, I got tackled on my left, on my shoulder. But the crazy, and it's like hurting. So I'm like, damn, what the, what the hell? Then we had to do, it was a flat. We had to do a re-kick. Oh. So. But we had to do a re-kick. They set up the wall. We had we had a wall. We had a wall right. Mm-hmm. They kicked it to the uh, they buddy, buddy over kicked the coverage. Uh huh. I caught it. So you had action. I set it up. Boom! I hit the wall. I hit the wall. 
I forgot what number that was. That nigga came. He had a good angle. He came. That nigga grabbed my arm. That bitch popped out of place. My, my shoulder popped out of place. Mm. And while running, it's out of place. So now, nah, nobody knows out of place, but yeah. I know. Yeah. And the motherfucking big ass nigga tackling me and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> jumping on the pile. Jumping on the pile yeah, and shit. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. bro, I'm on the pile light. And that bitch popped back in place. Jumping on the pile. And, getting I, just, and I just laid there. And I'm like, what the? Like, get up. I'm like, bro, I can't. But like, my, my shoulder. Yeah. And then kind of find out I tore my labrum and Dang. my shoulder. Season over. I had that. Dog, that's the worst. Season in it mm. is the worst. Mm. Man, you waking up 6 o'clock in the morning and you don't do nothing. You done for the whole day after treatment. Yep. Miserable. It's you boring. Don't need, you don't go to practices. Stressing. Nothing. You don't go to practice. Stressing. IR life. You stressing. I just, only thing good, you still getting paid. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you can go to practice, but bro, when you hurt like that, bro, I was just, I came to rehab. I went right home. Bro. I, I just laid I went home, like, bro. You don't know Playing how much game, influence that get like tiring, football I'm in the got. Sling. Yeah. It's just, bro. So it was like depressed. Right. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was depressed. I used to lay in the dark, look, just lights out, just lay on the couch, like, I can't even go to work. Man, I can't I used to, bro. But God yeah. just seen mm -hmm. you down because I never had a season ending. You feel me? So that's God. You feel yep. me? Mm -hmm. But I was like, man, I'm like, I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. I'm trying to play. <laughs> right. For sure. But right. She so, look, look, look at me now. Yeah. Yeah. So far in your second season, like I said, I, I told him, I was like, when he first signed, I was like, oh, they got some, they all right. Like, I was like, look, too, too fast, but I ain't know. I start watching and I wanted to ask you, like, what do you feel is like some of the most underrated parts of your game? Because I just knew you was a speed demon. Yeah. I knew you was fast from college, but a lot of dudes who be fast, like they can't actually, they don't got no route tree. Right. They can't, they only straight line guys. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really know. And then I'm watching, I'm like, oh, he routing shit. Mm -hmm. He even told me like, that little nigga, he going over the middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like hands. So I, I was surprised by a lot of the things you were able to do. Uh, no, nah, I just, I play with a chip on my shoulder, but you know, I've been doubting my whole life, man. Yep. From from being small and, oh, you too little to make it to the NFL, mm -hmm. or you ain't gonna make it, or why you came out, or just, you know, fans just bashing me, oh, you a bust, or yep. you this and that, and this and that. So, you know, I play with a chip on my shoulder every, every you know, every game, what, even practice, you know? But, so yeah, I mean, I just overcome it. I don't pay no attention. I just, you know, screenshot it. Yeah. Make a little picture, put it on the wall, mm -hmm. have it in my phone. I had one person, this one I declared, somebody from the Louisville campus, Louisville campus, uh, sent me an email. I don't know who it was, but when I declared, they told me, they sent me an email, sent my email, you made, it, you made the dumbest decision of your life. Mm. You would never make it to the NFL. And I still got that <clears throat> same screenshot to the day. Mm. But so you know, that's why, that's how I look at it as motivation. Even yeah. to the day, it's still on Twitter. You know, they, oh, yeah, they, they buzz or this and that. You they, know, they going to troll you. Yeah, they yeah. troll. They, but look, how do you, they don't know, but they don't know that. That's just making me go even harder. Right. You feel me? So I just tell them, shit, keep coming with it. Right. right. So I, that's what I want to ask both of y'all. Like, it's one thing it's one thing to, like, play the game and, and like, coaches might get on you. But when you go on your phone, and I, I know what happened with you mm -hmm. in the past, and you getting – hundreds of thousands of mentions of people just bashing you. How do you, like you say, you use it for motivation, but how do you balance the using it for motivation versus just blocking some stuff out and not really giving it the energy? Like, bro, I'm a, you, you gotta look, right? I ain't gonna lie to you. You everybody gotta look. look. You, everybody, everybody look, look bro. And, and, and they say they don't look. Everybody look. Because you see cats out here, they delete their Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, like, when they have a rough one. A you rough see one. it, they, they on you. So. They, but well, guess what, bro? When you do good, everybody wanna. Mm -hmm. Oh, and when they clap and, and and say you this and that and da da, you just can't worry about that shit, bro. Yeah. I don't worry about it. I just look at it. Okay, boom. How you boom, deal with that? Because I know in Cleveland it got it, it got crazy in Cleveland. It got crazy. Like I mean, like people that really know football, like you said, you got trolls. Like mm -hmm. it was a messed up situation. Everybody know it. it wasn't one person. I mean, I say this all the time. Besides, like Miles Garrett, he a freak. Mm -hmm. Nobody really benefited from that situation like it was tough like it was a tough situation it's all you gotta do is you know what i'm saying use it um just keep it pushing i know if i get another chance like i'm gonna go do what i gotta do like i'm a gamer like i, I i've been doing this like yeah and my 
bad season is better than your 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 team's favorite safety their yeah. season. So like right. I'm like, it's all you know. It, it just put things into perspective. Like those people that don't know, they don't know. So they don't know football. Yeah, them. they don't know football. The just people talking. that know, coaches, GMs. You know what I'm saying? They still they show me love. Hey, right. hey, you've been doing it for a long time. Ugh. So I, I don't look at I don't look at people that don't really have a platform. It's those the ones that's really like on you, like yeah. people, people that ain't got be nothing people going. People that don't even got bored. a real profile picture. They just be no bored. profile picture. They ain't got like, nothing going. Probably with like hundred followers. Yeah, yeah. yeah like you know what I'm saying. I ain't gonna lie. I be looking. Like, like, I, I click on their pay. I, sometimes I be like, you got I a burner account or you be on your real joint? You don't care. I be on my real one. <laughs> I be want to say something. You, I want to say. I, 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 sometimes you want to text so bad, bro. But I be like, you know, it ain't even worth it because I know if I tweet some. Then it's gonna, it's everybody gonna, gonna see that bitch. Yep. So I'd be like, "That's what happened." To I me. ain't gonna lie. One time, <laughs> one time I did make a Facebook account and, and went to respond. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. Lie, he tipped on the best receiver. Nah, look, but look. I went. Oh, I respond. I say, "Fuck you, nigga." You <laughs> that, nigga. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I reply. That's why I don't even reply, bro. Because I replied <laughs> to one dude. We used to go at it all the time. Then other people start taking shots at you, trying to get a reply, trying to get your attention. just trying to get some clout. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So like, it's that's not even worth it. I'm like, bro, bro. that's it's tough, man. Yeah. That, like, that's tough because the limelight. Like, this ain't like this ain't like fits. Like, I be seeing the old heads. Shout out to the OGs from the league, but this ain't like y'all era. <laughs> y'all can have a bad game and going about y'all business. Y'all didn't have to get on your phone and have thousands of people. Tell you to kill you. yourself. Tell like, you, bro. They, they, bro, they know it's your, a game. They know your family members' Instagram. They adding them. That's it's a game. game. Crazy. They still be. They still be <laughs> sending DMs. Oh, you, you, you. Sorry, mother. Ever. <laughs> you needed. You needed. Go back. Three room. more yards. You couldn't get three more yards. Oh, I'm oh, like, oh. The, the fantasy. They the fantasy gurus me. like myself. We I'm get like, a little bro. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> we get a little crazy. The yeah. fantasy I'm gurus. I'm like, bro. What? What's wrong with y'all, bro? Yeah, it's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, I could have used a few more yards out there. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I said, right, I've been saying why you here. I could have used a few more yards. I could have used a few more yards. Who who are some of your favorite uh players growing up? Like who'd you watch? Growing up, receivers or quarterbacks? Both. Oh, yeah. See, I ain't why well, I ain't look at receivers. Growing up, because I ain't never I ain't ain't players. So my favorite quarterback growing up was Teddy. Shout out to Teddy, that's my boy. Ooh, Teddy again? Ooh. No, Bridgewater. Teddy oh, Bridgewater. Oh, Bridgewater. I forgot yeah, these yeah. Florida dudes stick together like yeah, that. Yeah, Teddy yeah. Bridgewater. It's Shout out to Teddy. You know. <laughs> Teddy's a legend. Day one. Down there, that's my boy, yeah. Um, them were my two favorite quarterbacks, Teddy and Peyton Manning. Yeah. Peyton Manning, pre snap. The sheriff. The sheriff. <laughs> he going to get Peyton it Manning. done. Any team, Teddy, uh, Peyton Manning's own, doing my team. Yeah. That's hard. And Teddy went to uh, Louisville too. You know it. Teddy That's hard. Went to yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did that have? Did, did that kind of be like? Oh shit! Teddy went there. I kind of want to go there too. Like you know, me and Teddy. Teddy been Teddy been around since I was in a freshman at uh, high school. So you know, <clears throat> I was a quarterback. So we used to work out together. Yeah. So we used to do everything together. You know. So y'all like, being shit, like, it might well that, that'll be a little good look. Shit. Might yeah. Well. Y'all being like college athletes did y'all get to enjoy like the actual college experience because i feel like football take up so much of y'all time hell yeah <laughs> we, we, got the we, got, we got the best uh experience oh, me. for real like yeah college, we, had, we had a lot of fun in college i ain't gonna lie man, i mean y'all was, was, was busy y'all ain't get the function why not man. only thing you miss really is Bruh, the, fam, the, i ain't had classes on uh campus Oh shit! That's what I'm saying. Only thing you miss is like the pregame for the games. Obviously, you about to get ready to play. They used to get crazy like before the games. Okay. Uh, what's the word? Tailgate. Tailgate. You know what I'm saying we miss all the tailgates, but besides the parties, that, like, be, be you know smooth. Yeah. Yeah. So Louisville, you got locals in Louisville. Uh, well, I went to a private school, so y'all was probably way though. different. He said y'all was trash though. We used, <laughs> to, we used to get him work. I mean, Lamar got us, but like, I mean, he ain't I wasn't me. there. I oh, see. And I still think we got them too. After we just beat y'all. You talking about? Hey, so I'm look, not there. You look, not there. We made a bet. Look, I, don't, right? I don't care. We made a little, we made a little, little bet. He posted. I, I really uh, spared him, but you still gotta wear it though, cause we had a bet. We had a bet, right? If my school win, he gotta wear Louisville gear. But I forgot the gear on the um, we was supposed to fly out. So he wasn't able to wear it. I had mine ready. <laughs> I had the I full forget. fit. I had hoodie, shorts, and hat. Look, go Eagles. Give him a visor. <laughs> and I was gonna get him on camera too. But yeah, that was yeah. Do you was, do you go back? Yeah, I go back, yeah. Okay, that's cool. They they probably show you a lot of love out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope. That's dope. You know what's crazy is you get the you've gotten to live um the best of both worlds. So you grew up in Miami. 
not South Beach, but you grew up in Miami. Now you live in L.A. Yeah. So as an adult, you're a grown man. Where would you, what, what do you enjoy more, L.A. or Miami as a city? Everything that comes with it. I'm about to say, because Miami. In man. season, out, out, of out of season. Look, out of season. See, I'm not here out LA of season. Or Miami. I'm not here out of season. When we all season, I'm not here. I'm back at, you know, the crib. <laughs> okay. So, you know. But you know, uh, well, down, right, look, look, for me, let's say for me, where, you, where, where would you recommend me go kick it? To the crib. Come on. Okay. All right. Show you some love, man. JJ B in Miami. So what, what you think? I feel like everybody say LA expensive, LA expensive, but Miami, the, the stuff you could do, the possibilities you, you could have, go. it's going to be even more expensive than here. You might as well come here. Like, yeah. here is more. Damn. Bro, I'm telling you, like you gonna have more fun in Miami. Yeah, I'm telling you, you but gonna y'all spend don't that go to brain. sleep out there. Like exactly. it don't never end, bro. Exactly. That's I was in point. Miami. It's four forty five. Come down Where we going next? Fam. Next. Come down there. Spring what? break. Spring break is the lit. Come down there. Spring break. He told me. He told me. Look, because we were talking about boats and stuff, getting on the water. Because that's uh-huh. really what I think Miami has over LA. Like, okay. Yeah. The water, getting on the boat, whatever. Right. So I'm like, he like, what time you go? I'm like, uh, I think we went like four to eight. You know, we saw the sunset. He like four to eight. He said, we leave the club and get on the boat. I said, whoa. <laughs> that's, new me. that's new to me. I ain't never do, I ain't never heard of that. Come on. So we I might have to tap in. I got, I got my, um, one of my little homeboys. You know, he, he got a little boat. He drive the boats. See, or he dangerous. Or he, get, he call his little people who got boats. Okay. Oh, boy, I got such and such. Them boys trying to get a boat. Yeah, two they going to want that money. At two a, 12 a.m., 2 a.m.? You know, you got all type of... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lot. Look, I on ain't. Me. We might have to sign a waiver. You hang with me. You want to get on the boat at JJ? Tomorrow? We might. We might have to go to Miami with Tutu. I'm telling you, bro. Pull up. Two a. A walk. We love you, but we might have to go hang with Tutu for a little bit. We go on boat. Two. Whatever time you want. Two o'clock in the morning. We ain't get off out. I ain't gonna lie. One time we went to. um This is a funny little story, right? So me and my me and my little homeboy. So no, I had this one chick, right? So we on a little date, whatever. We on a little date, little funny story. We went to the movies first, right? So after the movie thing, we want to get a couple drinks. But the movie theater ain't had no drinks. They right. ran out, whatever. So I called my little, my, called my main man. Boy, where you at, boy? Oh, I'm at Dunkin' News. Want my little cheat? Yeah? All right, for the pull up. We pulled up. Eight got some shots. Boom. After that, we went to, after the Dunkin' News, we went to a casino. What, Hard Rock? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Game a little bit. Got some, drunk some more. After that, we <laughs> went to the club. Uh-huh. From the club went to another club. Shorty, <laughs> Shorty must have loved you. Hey, look, that oh, was she a, said that was the Shorty best. That was the best. Her life. Shorty was thugging hey, look, night. So look, so look, so we, we drunk. We, hey, look, we doing whatever. We do. So we went to what we went to. We went to uh, Playhouse. Mm. At the Playhouse, we went to G Five. Look, I'd have been asleep. Then at the G Five, we what? went to Booby Trap. See, Booby Trap got, got a booby. Hey, Booby Trap. It was like we got the Booby Trap like right look, around. Four o'clock in the morning. See what I'm saying, bro? We leave that bit to like six. And then my homeboy was in there. Then everybody was like, "Then what's the move next?" My dog like, "Boy, we got, I got, let's get, y'all were trying to get on a boat." <laughs> See what we like, boy, we the- go to the boat. Boy, we go to the boat. We went to the boat. I swear to God, soon we got out to the water, but everybody out there be. I'm telling sleep, you, like, had to be. Everybody out that big. Pump. <laughs> See, that's the difference right there. Like, I'm like, but then we got out. Like, we, we got out like yeah. ten. We got out the boat like ten. Yeah. I would have People slept got hang over there. Everybody just like, where, where we at? I would have slept the whole next day. The whole 24 hours. But we was up the next day, like, oh no, no. But we be at the brain. Y'all gotta come, <laughs> y'all gotta come mess with us though. Damn. Hey, how's the dating scene in LA? You like it? The who? The dating scene. You got you how, how how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> it is what it hey, is. Hey, look, man, y'all look, y'all, y- y'all are acquired. Man, y'all play for the Rams. I know it. Like, look, man. They got nice little, you know, nice little females out here. You know, they nice, they cool. It ain't like the South, though. I don't know. I, I feel like it's comparable. I, I, I think, like, I think, I think it's. It's right there. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, some bad motherfuckers out here. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> they both okay. like melting pots. They both like got imports. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Miami it's got some bad people that are not from too, Miami. LA got people not from LA. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I've been in Miami for a long time. But I ain't never seen no LA girls, boy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Them LA girls are different. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's I a don't know. That's a fact, man. Hey, LA uh, might got Miami. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm probably used to it. But yeah, you probably just used to it. 
the activities like Miami, like the sky's the limit, bro. You're not doing all like what he was just talking about in LA. You're not. You just not. Why you can't do that up here though? Everything's gonna close it too. It's strict out here. Everything closed. Yeah. Hey, you got a few after hour spots, like yeah. probably doing stuff they ain't supposed to be doing, but Miami, that's just the standard. People wake yeah. up at one, oh, then get yeah, active. Y'all don't y'all go gotta out come to break. one. Y'all gotta, yeah, we gonna go out to like one. Right. Time. Y'all gotta come when it's spring break though. When the college is down there on yeah. South Beach, ah, that's when y'all gotta come down there. I ain't messing with I be seeing college. videos. No, it ain't. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. It but be everybody. No, look, I ain't, I ain't no stranger. I, I go down Miami. Look, <laughs> Yo, I, look. When I mean everybody, they ain't mama, they daddy, they cut, everybody out there. Yeah. Damn. It be turned though. JJ was telling me a funny story. He said you be roasting in the in the locker room. You and Van. You and Van Jefferson. Nah, oh, he yeah. just be getting that van. Like that. <laughs> nah, and I'm a boy. That van. <laughs> and I'm a boy. I... <laughs> <laughs> he said. But well, can you? Uh, but can you beat me? <laughs> <laughs> can you beat me up though? If you can't beat me. <laughs> but can you whoop me? That shit is funny, bro. Van, Van knows. Uh, I ain't gonna say too much. I ain't gonna say too much on this on, on the podcast. Van nah, knows. Van the homie. For sure. <laughs> what What do you boy. feel about the um the wide receiver room? Y'all got cut back. <clears throat> Puka Doncic's been balling. You doing your thing? Yeah. Puka. Van in there. What, what you feel about the room? Nah, we got home? a great receiver room. But I ain't gonna lie. We underrated for I ain't gonna we mm. underrated for real for real. Mm. The whole team underrated. Everybody under uh under, underestimate us. Yeah. But uh receiver room good, man. Puka, he a dog. I been through that though. I could have told you that when I first, you know, seen him. Mm-hmm. Um good guy, aggressive hands. And I just like the way that boy play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he good. What have you picked up from uh from have you picked up anything from Cooper Cup? He one of the one of the best in the <clears> league. <throat> well, I picked up everything from Cool Cup. Yeah, bro. still everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but nah, just just being around him, man. Um, from the twenty uh, from twenty twenty one season, just being around him, working out with him. That's when he went triple crown. That's when he went. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Just being in his back pocket, you know. Mm-hmm. Observing, listening, uh, asking questions, and um, just the main thing, just being present. Yeah. Yeah. In his, you feel me? Just. Looking to see what he's doing and ask him how he threw that or sure. why he did that. Yeah. Or or what you see on that. Okay. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. After every play, like, well, you seen that? What you would have did? Right. And he'll just give me his little input or, oh, you did good. I would have did the same exact thing. But just hearing from him and uh, just being around him, shit, I learned a lot. That's dope, man. What, what do you feel like? Um, your experience has been like playing for McVay. He got nothing but JJ <coughs> love McVay. He got nothing yeah, but love great McVay too. to say man, about McVay. Why you think I'm back, bro? Like, yeah, I love McVay. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I won't, I ain't going nowhere else. That's why I be telling damn. people. I ain't going. I ain't I love McVay. Yeah. That's one of the best coaches ever I ever had. I don't think I yeah, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, he's solid, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, like read me up right here. I think it's because he's hey, younger too. He re- relates. Yeah, to I like, swear, bro. Read me up right here. <laughs> on me. I ain't going nowhere. I don't want to go nowhere else. Bro, like he just—if I had an opportunity, yeah, but I'm trying hard to stay here. Yeah, he, he just know how to control a room, bro. He a good speaker, like he relate to everybody. He makes stuff fun, mm-hmm. like it's loose, like you know what I'm saying. It's a good work environment, like you, you gonna want to come to work, like you don't got no problem with coming to work. Yeah, everybody tired, you know what I'm saying. He gonna, all right, today walk through, like you know what I'm saying. Like he he listening, like he understand, like he he one of a kind. Then he a play, his play caller, I think that speaks for itself, mm-hmm. but. A lot of people don't know like the type of person he is. Like, he's yeah, he's a great a good person. person. Yeah. Like, yeah, he take care of his uh, players. Yeah, he seems like very fluid. Like you know, some coaches be like stuck in their way. Like, oh, I've been doing it like this yeah, since, yeah. On since me. 1975. Right, right. Like, that's, true. that's true. So well, it's like yeah. he seems very fluid and like he want to work with y'all and, and make things. And work you see with it work. I mean, since he been here, we done been in the playoffs almost every year. Mm-hmm. Two Super Bowls, one one lost one. Mm-hmm. I mean. He he gonna do it. He got a bunch of coaches' jobs. Facts. Like even Facts. If they go somewhere be a DC. If, if they started out a, a position coach, they go somewhere be a DC. He got a couple head coaches under his under his uh, wing yeah. now. So like it's it speaks for itself. Shout out to McVay, man. You that yeah. dude, bro. Yeah, you definitely that dude. Some of the, what's some of the stuff you like to do off the field? I heard you be gaming. You you be streaming. So you know I I I, I stream. I be on, on that, Twitch. On Twitch. See, I'm not I'm not. I don't Y'all really, go follow me, man. That's what two I'm two at well three oh five on Twitch. Two two at well three oh five on Twitch. But um, I don't understand. I got a PC, <laughs> man. I play on PC. He don't you play understand? video games. You don't like understand? That. I mean, I know what Twitch is. Like, I know people stream. Like, I know you watch like what? Just watch the gameplay. Like you be talking a lot and stuff. Like yeah, you react to your fans. Oh yeah, see to know. the con- uh to the. Um- Yo, 
when you stream it, they could see the game too and you? Yeah. Oh, that's I guess I got see it. I got a whole little setup in my room. I got a little game room. I got a big game room in my house. How much your gaming setup cost? I pay about fifteen k for my game. Make it fifteen thousand for a gaming setup. Cause that's 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 what I, I that's what I like to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> what all you got? What all you need? Yeah, you need the you game and monitor, two the monitors. game and a TV. I got that's three, what I grew up doing. I got doing. three. I got three monitors, and, and they all connect. I got to see, I, I got a two PC setup. So I got two PCs. I got three monitors. I got I got. The, the I feel like GL. he's speaking a different language right now. <laughs> I got the, uh, the uh, GL Go SR thing. See, I don't even know what that is. I don't. I got the camera. So when I scream, I got the mic, um, the keyboard, the mouse, my controller, my scuff controllers. What's this? My headset. <laughs> See, I got what, a, you got a nice chair? I Obviously. got my game chair, my See, gaming chair. You got to have a good gaming chair, I'm though. telling you. And I get at this. Yeah. Call of Duty. Uh, you be on Warzone? GTA, Warzone, GTA 5, Roleplay. I got play. somebody for you. My boy Jerm, he be on Warzone. I say, I got to stick he, man he don't in that like, I, don't really, I don't really rock with him like that because he I one of the crazy. People, Every time I log on, I be like, yo, let's get on the game. I see him online. I can't ever join his party. He's yeah. always full. Yeah. He don't let me play. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I be getting carried. I ain't gonna lie, I had like two kids. Oh, yeah, I'm dropping, dropping like 12 or better. You yeah, play see, 2K? I be having like two. I don't, I don't, bro, I don't play 2K. Because that's what everybody be talking about. But like, I, I mean, yeah, when Ronnie make the players for <laughs> <laughs> Everybody call but Ronnie, still, bro. For fam, look, Ronnie I'm still, been cheating, bro. But look, though, I'm, I'm still, I still favorite. suck, though. Even yeah. though I get all, all the badges and... I still suck. I don't yeah. know how to play that. Yeah, that yeah. shit. That I shit play is. Madden a little bit. Yeah, you play Madden. What you think about like yo? I don't you like on Madden. Madden. Oh yeah. You Are know. you fast enough? What's your speed on Madden? They, I think they trying me. I supposed to be like in the ninety sevens, bro. I ain't gonna lie. What they got you at like a ninety one? Like a ninety four. That's 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 hot. That's that's, 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 that's <laughs> rolling. Nah, that's really <laughs> my shit, but need to be up there. I ain't gonna lie. I play myself on Madden. Though. I'm throwing it deep in me every time. If I play myself, I play as one of y'all Madden. I'm using me, and I'm gonna have. One hundred yard plus. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I get a hundred plus. <laughs> Win, lose, or draw. Win, lose, or draw. I'm gonna get my hundred. That's crazy. No, nah, that's cool. That's cool. So you, when you stream, you be on there for like hours. You be on there for hours, huh? Yeah, I be on that thing for hours. See, I got, I got a whole. Uh, but you know, people get paid off of it. Mm, yeah, yeah. I, and people become millionaires off that stuff. So what? Facts. How I do? I got how I got it set up. I had somebody. So I got a little PC guy who, who do all the stuff for me and everything. Mm. He set up everything. You just and gotta show up. I just do. I mean, he built. He built my whole thing. Yeah, he did everything for me. And then um, I got this guy. So when I make like good, good uh, movements, like in kills and stuff in Warzone and stuff, like do some crazy in Warzone. He clip it up for you. He clip it. I clip. Oh, no, man. I clip it. And then I just send it to him, and he edit and do all this stuff for me. I just what get what seven hundred a month. Damn. I'm about to be a PC dude. You're right. I, I get him 700 a month. He do everything. He he log well. He got my uh. He posted on my TikTok. Mm. He posted on my Twitch, and he he take care of all he that. He do he all does. that. Well, I didn't hit about million views on my shit. For real. Dang, he probably got a lot. He probably yeah. making a killing. I mean, he probably making he making that 700 so, though. So yeah, he, no, he probably, he probably got a couple different. So that's why I say that 15,000 that I pay for that. I'm, I'm getting it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I'm. I'm doing something that I like, plus mm -hmm. I'm getting it plus back. Plus you getting, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense, man. And it's something like you could do that, and you ain't, you ain't out getting in no trouble or nothing yeah. like that anyway. So I'm doing that bit. We gotta get day. him into some game or something, man. That boy don't play game. That boy wanna be out. Yeah. <laughs>
that got to be the prize. You cannot take your eyes off the prize. Even like you can't let your guard down for a little bit. Like in this profession, and that, that's anything for real, for real. Like yeah. boxing. I mean, shoot, if you want to be a cameraman for for. ESPN, like, you really got to tap in every day. You got to be reaching out to people, you know what I'm saying? You can't really let your guard down not once, and eventually you're going to be right where you want to be. So, yeah, 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 that's dope, man. You just got to got to stick with it. You also, you got a foundation, the Tutu Atwell Foundation. Can you yep. talk to us a little bit about that? So, yeah, man, I got to, um, y'all follow me on at my foundation page at Tutu Atwell Foundation on Instagram. Um, yeah, man, just giving back. You know, I'm a big giver back. To the people in my community where mm -hmm. I'm from, um, uh, my mom, me and my mom came up with the foundation. Um, I let her and my aunt run it, so they do everything for me. So I do back. I um, what else? That's fire, man. I do everything, man. I do it all. So if you go on my foundation page, you will see it. Um, not just that, I do. Um, Whatever you need, yeah. yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying. I, uh, I had these camps back at home. Um, I got my own day back at the crib. That's well, you, all right. you got your own day? Yeah, that's yeah. fire. July seventh. Uh, that's that's seven, when I had my seven. camp. That's hard. Yeah. <laughs> seven <laughs> seven. That's hard. Got my own day July seventh. Um, and yeah, we, I just have a big camp. I have a big camp. Um, so you know how football players or. So when my mom came to me, it was like, everybody do football camp. Let's do something different. Like, it's going to be a football camp, but we're going to add all the other sports to it, too. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put f football, soccer, basketball, track and field, uh, cheer and dance for the, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I said baseball? No. no. And baseball. Yep. So on that day, on um, the park I grew up at, uh, Charles Hattie Park, where I grew up at, my little league, it's a big park, and I just have... The whole community in the you feel me? Everybody come out, yeah. and it's different. All the kids come out. A little tutu out with foundation shirts for them. I had everything set up for them, and um yeah, I just split the groups up. My brother run track. I let him handle the track uh thing, and I have different my aunts, my aunties, and everybody else run. You feel me? I just have and I and I just go and pick through each little drill, mm -hmm. get some content of me mingling with the kids and playing with the kids. So yeah. I, I go from um, to football, doing the drills with them, to the basketball, to baseball, to basketball, and to and I go to the, to what, what the, what the little girls at, or the cheer dance, and I just watch them and do little fun stuff. Yeah, you get no, what I'm saying? That mean a lot yeah, too. And then yeah, after that, that a lot. <clears throat> yeah. and then after that, um, that, so that day on the 7th is, the camp for the kids and all the little kids. What to do like, what like seven, six and up. Uh, so after that, once that over with, like around the afternoon, like one ish or two ish, uh, that's when I have a seven oh seven. Oh yeah. So I have a big seven oh seven for all the high school. Yeah. In the inner city, so Miami North West. Now you got the Miami North Western. You got the uh, Carrier City. You got the Booger T. You got the Central. You got the the. Um, St. Thomas, the mm -hmm. whoever, uh, mm -hmm. South Ridge. I had so, and I had like 12 teams competing for $5,000. Oh, that's so, fire. You get me? So, I need that. I'm winning that. <laughs> and it just get big. Yeah, 100%. And everybody competing, and it's 707. Right. Yeah. So, I do that, and um, yeah. No, that's just fire. I've been trying to get mine of a. I need to. I'm way yeah. behind. Like, we can do something. Way, I've been trying gonna, to set up some you kids can, you get to some games. Come on, you can get to At my high school, I try to set you. up something about the field. This is always something. So, like you said, your mama and your aunt, like, that's good that they yeah, take you care. Some. You gotta and have somebody. That serious. Uh, they you gotta that, have somebody that's really behind it, like, pushing it, because it's hot. Like, it's just a lot of work. Yeah, so they running. They be on me about that. We need this for the people from this and that. Oh, they I was like, yo, man, y'all handle that, man. I'm trying to focus. Yeah. For sure. you feel me? Yeah. But they get everything done, man. They handle their business, you know. I, I, I appreciate them. They get it done. They be yeah. big, dog. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring some kids to some Rams game for for his uh yeah. for his foundation for sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's dope. But man, this was dope, man. We appreciate you coming sure. through. You know what I mean? We definitely gonna be watching for the rest of the season. Yeah, appreciate mm -hmm. y'all. Thanks for having me, man. Oh yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. We appreciate y'all watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend, man.
No bluffing giveaway. We're giving away two tickets to any Los Angeles Rams home game of your choice. That's right. You pick the game. Now, here's how you become eligible to win these tickets. You must subscribe to the YouTube channel at No Bluffing Podcast. You must follow us on X and Instagram at No Bluffing Podcast. Now, repost your favorite clip and hashtag No Bluffing Tickets. That's tickets, T-I-X. Good luck.